welcome to my let's play of Mary Le Chef Cooking Passion. Where I left it, I just finished the farmer's market with a two star on the last mission and on to whatever this new restaurant is. Crumbling down, a worry wart gets no work done. It's a very pretty restaurant. I should have some money saved up, so I will see what I can do. New kitchen block. I will have a new kitchen block to cook things faster. What does that do? Okay. It's a piano, but that'll take most of my money. An ice counter. Covered in ice, any food prepared here will remain fresh for a long time and customers will pay more for it. Always a fan of customers paying more money. And I can upgrade the tables, and chairs, or bar stools. Alright, I'll upgrade the bar stools. And I can include improve customer patience on the tables and chairs. Well, I might as well, because the only other thing I can upgrade is the piano, which is going to cost me a thousand, which I didn't have, even though I was close to it but I think I'd prefer the tables and chairs. And the menu apparently is beef fillet, or fillet. That's still part of the beef fillet. Red wine. Okay, that's a pair of binoculars. No idea why you need a pair of binoculars in a restaurant, but okay. And that appears to be pretty much my menu. Well, okay, we'll give it a shot. Oh yes, of course, Daddy had a heart attack at the end of the last episode. I suspect you'll want a coffee. Did the doctors come by? They think he's out of the woods for now. Is he going to be okay? They're not sure, they won't say much. Quite frankly, I think they're worried I'll sue for malpractice. What about you? I'll call you, call you as soon as he wakes up. Typical lawyer answer. Poor daddy kids. Yes, get out of here, Mary. Go back to work. Leave a message after the beep. Peter, why are you not calling back? I could really use a friend right now. Great. Her dad's had a heart attack. Her boyfriend's deserted her. I need to keep my phone close. Said something. And, okay, and that would be the phone. Okay, they apparently want two wines. I'll get to you in a second, I've got to talk to my phone. And you, young person, want... Oh, you want a wine as well. Ah, check the phone one more time. Give you a wine. Oh, you want to pay as well? You want wine? Oh, my phone. Okay, apparently this restaurant serves a lot of wine. I heard the mouse. There's the mouse. Uh, the phone's going off again. That reached on one star already. He wants binoculars. For some strange reason. Okay, have binoculars. Somebody clean that table. Oh, okay. Oh, check the phone. Somebody actually wants some real actual food. Oh, no. I assume I do that. Then that. And give them that. Check my phone once more. Yeehaw. Finally done with the phone. Youth of the day, they live, live with their phone. What would you like, sir? Oh, you want actual food? You're not coming here to get drunk. No, I can't do that. I keep getting. Right, that's you dealt with. Well, that was easy, easy to reach three stars. Let me do that. Grab a couple of bottles of wine. 
And you just want a bottle of wine. Apparently this is a restaurant for drunks. And perverts who like staring through binoculars at people. And this is apparently my new boss. Margaret, right? Mary, we've met like three times now. Listen, I need to send my headshots and bio to this list of TV producers. My father is in the hospital, remember? We talked about this. Can't you just go there later? I can, but I won't. Hey, what's your deal? I thought you wanted to be a chef. What does that have to do with anything, much less stuffing envelopes? I'll do it. Thank you, Maury. Okay, so apparently I work for a complete moron. It's nice to know that someone around here has a sense of common decency. What's her problem? You're a self-centered moron, that's her problem. Oh, back up to 400 in shopping money. And that was level 41? The start of life inside Steve the Moron's restaurant. Which is, seems to be a restaurant for alcoholics. Well, on that happy note, this is where I'll end this one. And next time round it will be level 42. As always, I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you down the road.